Hello YouTube. This recipe today is called taco salad in a jar. You'll need around five or six wide mouth quarts and five or six of the small four ounce jelly jars, regular mouth. Take a pound of ground beef, brown it up. If it's got any fat in it, drain it off and get it out of there. Try to use a real lean ground beef. After you get it brown, go ahead and add two tablespoons of a good taco seasoning. To that, you're also going to add a half a cup of chopped onions, half a cup of chopped bell pepper, half a cup of celery. Go ahead and put a lid on it and let it cook till your onions are done. I would rather have tomatoes if they're cooked, so <clears throat> I used drained petite diced tomatoes and went ahead and cooked them in with my onions, bell pepper, and celery. But as soon as you get this done, you'll want to put it in a container that you can put in the refrigerator and put it in the refrigerator and let it cool completely down before putting it in the jars. That way, it won't, the heat from the meat won't melt your lettuce and your other vegetables you're going to put on there and your cheese. Today we're also canning up some pork and beans or Boston baked beans, whatever you want to call them. This is how the petite diced tomatoes look drained and put in there. And to me it really has a, a little bit better flavor if the tomatoes are cooked. If you'd rather have them fresh, then you can add your tomatoes later. What we do is we start out putting about a half a cup of the meat mixture in the bottom of the jar that's been cooled. Then we took a quart sized jar of pinto beans that we canned ourselves, drained those, and added three or four tablespoons of drained pinto beans. Then on top of that we added probably around a half a cup of lettuce, maybe more, maybe a full cup. Then on top of that, we would add our tomatoes if you're using diced tomatoes. We added some shredded cheddar cheese next. Then on top of that, we crumbled up some Doritos nacho cheese flavored chips and put on top of that. And what you're going to do is you're going to, this mixture is going to build up to, you see about how much is in the jar, you're going to add just enough chips to where you, when you add your little four ounce jar in the, in your wide, inside your wide mouth jar, that you can still get your quart jar closed. If you like more chips and less lettuce, put less lettuce and more Doritos chips. But for the dressing, after you get all your ingredients in, we're using picante sauce and Catalina dressing. And what we did is we filled half the jar up with picante sauce and filled it the rest of the way up with the Catalina dressing. Put your lid on it and shake it up and it's just that easy. The um, this really works out real well if you're needing something for a picnic or a, just need meals for your kids to come in and be able to grab out of the refrigerator that are ready to eat or even just for yourself. I thought about these for my nephew who's in college. His mom could fix this for him when he leaves going home on a Sunday and he could have a couple of days of taco salad in a jar. So, the, uh, see how the dressing fits down inside your jar and your lid still fits on the jar. And it just works out real nice to be able to have everything contained in that one jar. All you really need is a fork and you're ready to eat. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please give us a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions or comments, 
make them below and we will answer any questions or comments that you have. You have a nice day. This is the Pressure Prepper and I'm out.